Hello everybody. Um, I wanted to um, ask a favor of all of you guys. I had to go to the hospital the night before last um, in the ambulance because I was having chest pains, what I thought was a heart attack. Um, <clears throat> now granted, I have a panic disorder and I have anxiety and depression. Um, but I wasn't having anything anxiety-wise with that. But when I got to the hospital, well, in the ambulance, was they were fighting because the girl driver, I don't know if she got lost, she kept going over the bumps. He tried to get an IV in both of my arms and blew it. And I got a bad bruise. You can't really see it. <laughs> you might be able to see some of it. There you go. And, um, anyhow, I didn't have a heart attack. They did tests and things. Um, but what they did find is that I'm anemic. I have, um, my white blood count or whatever is low which means i could have an infection somewhere in my body i don't know and um i have which is totally i did not know this and this is the scary part is i have a compression fracture on my back my spine my back whatever backbone and it's not the first time she said it was there it was on top of an old fracture in the same spot i don't know what i did and it doesn't hurt but i can't move around the whole lot until i see my doctor and i don't know if he's going to put me in a brace or what but um so I, I'm not taking painkillers. I'm just full of anxiety. I have nothing to do but lay here and think and fear that I'm going to start having pains again or something. and Or that they miss something or whatever. And um, uh I've been, I have been seeing a psychiatrist for over 30 years for this panic thing. And uh, for the most part, I've been, it's under control. But um, the depression is real. I mean, it's off the charts sometimes. Um, anxiety is off the charts. Um, right now, I'm... I have that on the TV. It's rain. <laughs> It relaxes me because I have to sleep in this chair and this recliner that I'm in, my husband's. And um, <laughs> I don't want to roll on my side because that's what causes the pains. Now my daughter, she works in a hospital and she said it could be referred pain in my chest from the back and, and that's possible. I don't know. But I'm just going to ask you guys to please say a prayer for me that I can get my mental anxiety down to where I can, um, you know, I can get up. I'm not supposed to bend over. I'm not supposed to twist or anything, but I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm just all stressed out. I can't eat. I have stuff over here to eat. I have some tomatoes and crackers, little cherry tomatoes. And I start to eat and I just, I don't get hungry. So, I don't know. Um, I, I go and see my oncologist in August from my cervical cancer. And that's another thing. You know, I... <clears throat> I hate that visit. But 
it has to be done. It's a necessary evil right now. And um, anyhow, I just want to ask you guys if you can say some prayers for me mentally and physically to, I mean, get, mainly get out of all this anxiety, this depression, this fear of, I don't know what. <laughs> they've cleared me of everything, but I keep thinking, oh, they've missed something. They've done something. And I don't know about this, how I, I need a bone density test ever since I had to have everything down here in my female area removed. Um, I, I don't have any hormones or anything like that. Um, but I'm older, too. And that can mean osteoporosis or something. So, I, I don't know. I guess there's a medicine maybe they can give you for that. I have no clue. But anyhow, thank you guys ahead. And um, I will still do anything, if I can, my Ipsy haul or whatever I get. might be from this chair, but I, I want to still do them. And um, thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.